Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from quadratic equations. I will solve this question in four ways. Our equation is x plus 9 whole square equal to 3 power 4. So let me write here method number 1. And in this method, I will use algebraic formula or identity a square minus b square. This is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I can write our equation x plus 9 whole square equal to 3 power 4. This 4 can be factorized as 2 times 2. Using exponent law a power b times c, we can write a power b whole power c. So here I can write 3 power 2 whole power 2. So 3 square is 9. So this will become 9 square. Now I will take all the terms to one side. x plus 9 whole square minus 9 square equal to 0. Now we will use the difference of two squares formula. We will get x plus 9 plus 9 and x plus 9 minus 9 in the product form equal to 0. Now plus 9 and minus 9 will be over. We will get x plus 18 times x equal to 0. So from here I can write either x plus 18 will be 0, x plus 18 will be equal to 0 or x equal to 0. So from our first equation we can write x will be equal to negative 18 first root of the equation and from second equation directly we can write x equal to 0. So we have two solutions 0 and minus 18. Now we will use method 2. In this method we will use a plus b whole square identity. So as per formula we can write a square plus 2 times ab plus b square. So let's write our equation x plus 9 whole square. This is equal to 3 power 4. 3 power 4 is 9 times 9. So we can write 81. Now in LHS we will use this identity a plus b whole square. So I can write x square plus 2 times a times b. a is x, b is 9 plus b square which is 9 square equal to 81. Or I can write x square plus 18x plus 81 equal to 81. Now subtract 81 from both sides. We will cancel plus 81 and minus 81 from both the sides. So it will be x square plus 18x equal to 0. Let me write here x square plus 18x equal to 0. Now we can take x common. So x is common in the bracket we can write x plus 18 equal to 0. So x equal to 0 or x plus 18 equal to 0. So we will get two solutions x equal to 0 is our first solution and from second equation if I will take away 18 from both sides we will get x value negative 18. Now method number 3. In method 3, 
we will use one algebraic result directly. We know that if x square equal to a square, then we can write x will be equal to plus minus a. So I will write our equation x plus 9 whole a square equal to 3 power 4, which we can write this is 9 a square or I can write x plus 9 whole a square equal to 9 a square. Now we will take a square root both sides and we will write x plus 9, this will be equal to plus minus 9. So we can write two equations from here. First equation would be x plus 9 equal to plus 9. And second equation x plus 9 equal to negative 9. So I will subtract 9 from both sides. We will get our first root or solution x equal to 0. And from second equation, I will take away 9 from both sides. So this time plus 9 and minus 9 will be over from LHS. We will get x equal to negative 18. This is our second solution. And this method was method 3. Now we can use log also and log method is our method number 4. Let us take log both sides. So I will write log x plus 9 whole power 2 equal to log 3 power 4 is 9 a square. Now we know that log a power b we can write b log mod a. A must be positive. Now I will apply log. So this 2 will come out as a multiplier from both the sides. So I can write 2 times log mod of x plus 9 equal to 2 times log 9 is positive number, so we can write directly 2 log 9. Now we will be dividing both sides by 2. So this 2 and 2 will be over from both the sides. Now I can write log mod x plus 9 equal to log 9. Now we know that log a equal to log b, then we can conclude A must be equal to b. So I will write here mod of x plus 9 equal to 9. So we will get two equations from here. We will write x plus 9 equal to plus 9 and second equation x plus 9 equal to negative 9. Now I will subtract 9 from both sides for equation 1. We will get x equal to 0. And from second equation I will subtract 9 from both sides. We will get x equal to minus 18 which is our second solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.